Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. So, I mean, this code has already been posted, and now we can do is you can just run these applica APIs from the Swagger Swagger spec we have already added. This is just a nicer way of integrating and exposing your APIs through the Swagger definitions. Now, what we are going to have is let's uh, create a modules, other modules like we can have order, we can have product. So what we are going to achieve is there will be a buyer, there will be a seller, okay. Buyer and seller will be of type user and we will have order, order is another entity. So what we will do is first we will try to write the models. So we have a user, user is having seller, I mean if user is seller, if I'm a, uh, if I'm a seller then I will be having type true means I am a seller not a normal user who can also be a buyer. I mean it is just a user type, user type 1 okay you are a buyer, user type 2 you are a seller okay. So we have a true false, seller if it is true it means you are seller otherwise you might be a buyer that's it okay. And it's just a user schema model. Uh, so similarly what we will do we will create a, another schema which is order. schema dot ps we can write and here in this order schema same thing export const const order schema order schema equal to new mongoose dot schema and here in this schema we will define all the types ok so we just need to import things not mongoose module it is mongoose ok you can import mongoose so it's a catch here import everything as mongoose is not providing a type definitions so we have to manage with this we got the schema now this order can be a buyer or seller so like if I am the owner so I am the buyer right so first let's put an owner only owner is of type so we will just have an object of so this is how we define the relationship mongoose dot schema dot type dot object id we are going to have object id here and reference of this will be so user collection we already have right so the user collection will have association here and total price for this particular order so this order can have multiple products with multiple items so like i bought three t-shirts five trousers number and default will be default will be 0 ok now we will have a product this will be an array ok this will be an array and it is going to have oh my multiple products so I will just create a prototype of a first one inside an array I will have a product this is a single product ok this product will have a mapping to your product collection we are going to have and similarly we are going to have a quantity for this particular product we can have something like this ok so this is fine we have now product created at and updated at you can add so products will be a, the it will be a association with the product collection so we will create a product collection also quantity is for this product this is an array of products so single one particular product I got a three t-shirts quantity is three and they will have a IDs of that product three trousers IDD of that product and the quantity ok it will be an array of set of products so we can create another module which is a product dot schema product dot schema dot ts in this uh, I think I can copy a lot of stuff from here what I, we need to change is we just need to change the, some attributes owner will be product will have some owner title of that price 
product is string image if you have this is also will be a string just a typo and what else we have description Sorry for that, I have just a keyboard issue which I'm trying to fix. Okay, string, string, and what else we have? We just need a price and all the other things. That is also of type string. Okay, basic attributes we don't have anything in the product. Product means product will have some attribute description, title, uh, price, and some particular image, and who's the who's the owner of this particular product. So this will be a one to one relationship with it. Okay, so we have created an order schema, product schema. Now, what we will do, we will create a modules for the order module and product module, and we will see what all APIs we are going to expose. You see, order schema, right? So, in order schema, what all possible APIs we can think of? We in the order controller, we will see. We will say just uh, who is going to buy it, right? So, order forward slash get. So, HTTP get api where we will see list all the orders for a particular user okay and create an order for a particular user so you are buying you are creating order it means you are adding some item to the cart you are trying to get the list of all the orders similarly the product controller here you will say all my products okay and uh, list by sellers list all my products by seller or you can say i, I wanted to create a product because i am a seller okay so you can create a product only if you are a seller so first you will try to write these routes separately and we will try to execute them 